It is indeed an honor and a privilege to be afforded this opportunity to come and welcome everyone present here today. We are gathered here this evening to celebrate the life and the legacy of our international struggle icon, Utata Oliver Reginald Tambo. The Ekuruleni Metropolitan Council resolved to confer the freedom of the city of Ekuruleni to this legend, and we are going to have, and we have had various activities uh, that have been lined up to celebrate this giant. We took this as an opportunity to have a very nice excuse to expose South Africans to who O.R. is, what role he played to where we are. October is a focus month to talk about this man, to use this month as a window into the entire role this man has played, what he means as an academic, as a unifier, as, 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 an, as a minister of religion. There is also this huge event, which is a peak this weekend, the melting pot, where 10 choirs are actually testing one another. Why are they the best where they come from? A prize of 250000 in vernacular and opera tomorrow, and also a prize of 150000 on folk song. The Melting Pot Arts Festival is a festival that celebrates and promotes choral music and other genres of music. Uh, we bring together these genres of music under one roof. We will bring it into one pot, whereby we cook all this and we celebrate uh, our music. So at the Melting Pot Arts Festival, uh, we are more on the promotion of choral music because we have realized that choral music is the genre that is not that much celebrated and even the singers and the conductors are not well compensated for the work that they do, which is why you find you know, the Melting Pot Arts Festival doing the festival and uh, the prize monies uh, uh, to other people, they sound odd, they don't believe that a choir deserves to go home with 250,000 rands. The Melting Pot Arts Festival became one of the series of the events that happened in Ekuruleni during the Owar Tambo month. So we celebrate the whole life of Owar Tambo through choral music, which is why if every morning on the day, first day of the competition, we started the gravesite of Owar because we are inspired by his living legacy through choral music. The choirs that participate at this level of this competition are the choirs that are invited by the organizers of the event, uh, not uh, including the guest choirs and the guest artists. All of the people that participate, they participate per invitation. This is Wiseman Mkize. Uh, I'm the CEO of the Claremont Choir Foundation, um, well known as Triple C. The Claremont Choir, last year in 2013, they became the inaugural champions of the very same festival. And to us, that was an honor indeed to be part of such history. Babu Owar is a legend. So, and he was also part of the choral music. He was in the choirs, he was a conductor, he was a pianist. So what a way to celebrate him. And what a way to celebrate him in his birthday month. So uh, pick ups to the Melting Pot team. This festival is really giving choirs. They are, they are treated in a professional manner. They are sleeping in the hotels, not just any hotels, good hotels, and, and, and for days. It's, it's, it's a very good festival, and we hope it can all grow all the way from, 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 from. politics. Why What is choir? music. school. So. God was no Kwaka Umtu. 
but he was a great lover of choral music. Ugwenza e Choral Music Festival in honor of Tambo is one of the most fitting things to do to recognize Italian yaka for music. My name is Pelelan Mnomia, and uh, choral music known as SPP Mnomia. I knew Oliver Tambo as a struggle stalwart. I didn't know him as somebody who, who was interested, not just interested in music, but a practitioner of classical choral music. So that profile to me was very instrumental, even in my composition about him, that he was as broad as uh, what I found out uh, to be. When we understand the role of music, that comes only naturally that there is a festival that celebrates such a hero. Because music is actually a means by which we celebrate life. I think uh, one needs to be honest about uh, the legendary leader Oar Tambo's contribution to choral music. Um, first and foremost, I think he used the power of music to communicate powerful messages while in exile. Oar Tambo uh, understood the power of music and he used this effectively. Look, this festival is powerful and uh, it's a great opportunity for conductors. It's breaking new ground. Right now what we need to do is to show the young people the vast array of possibilities of music. The choral is the source and then the other branches become the manifestation from the original source. Oh,